Hello, this is Jeff Gardner, principal of Auburn High School with a video message. Um, this is um, for the audience of our students, our teachers, and the parents and guardians of our students. It is uh, Thursday, the second Thursday of second semester. So it's uh, February 10th, and uh, we're just kind of getting going in second semester. We have a lot of students who are still working on grades from first semester and uh, trying to keep up for second semester. So there's a lot of good work going on at the high school. Um, I think there might have been a little bit of an easing of effort on behalf of some of our students who may have worked really hard first semester and kind of are taking a little bit of a mental uh, break. Um, one thing we've noticed is a lot of our kids, a lot, probably five to 10 percent of our students, which is a lot in, in the school, 1700 students, um, we're getting to class, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight minutes late. And it's pretty darn good in the morning. OK, I'll just let you know that so they can show us they can do it. Um, and students, you do a great job from sec first period to second. Even though we have breakfast after the bell, you guys still get your food eaten and and get to class. And, and that's tends to be a pretty good time. Second to third looks really good. OK, third to Troy time is where we start to see some things start to fray a little bit. And then the lunches are kind of hard to really gauge because we've got kids coming and going. We're running three lunches a half hour each. We do have a situation where we have some students deciding not to go to class or go to class late during lunches. That needs to stop. Um, but that's not what this video is about. It's really going from fourth to fifth and fifth to sixth as we're starting to see some of these things uh, and more than we'd like, of course. So you'll see on the screen, being on time requires no special talent. We're going to ask um, our students to really pay attention to this video. I hope you're watching it during your Troy time or maybe during a class. Want to let you know what we've let our teachers know we've let parents know if you're a student that was here back in november you already know this but starting on monday november 29th we moved from the positive attendance scanners and teachers now take attendance they call your names they should be calling your names they look you in the face they make sure you're there you need to be to class on time so they can start class on time teachers will take attendance student expected to be there and um, this is one way our teachers get to know our students' names too, especially at the start of a school year or start of a new semester. Very important. So in terms of punctuality, um, tardy counts start over every quarter, okay? So every student got a clean slate after every nine weeks, okay? Students receive two excused or free tardies per class per quarter. Here's what I really want our students to understand. This is not for loitering and hanging out. This is for those situations where a student has a real challenge and can explain it to the teacher, okay? I'm late because the teacher made me do this, or I'm late because Mr. Gardner stopped me in the hallway, had a conversation with me. It's not just to go hang out, you know, in the commons by a restroom or in a stairwell. You got to get to class. That's your job. Your teachers have discretion with this, okay? So it's not an automatic two freebies, all right? If they see you just hanging out, they don't have to provide you the free tardy. All right, next thing, if you do get to a third tardy, you will receive a warning from your teacher, okay? They may tell you face to face. They're gonna probably tell you in class the best way for them to do that. Um, I'd like to have it face to face, but they might just email it to you and check in with you the next day to make sure did you get, did you get my email? They'll probably leave it at that. We wanna be very discreet with that, um, but just know that's gonna happen. If we get to a fourth tardy, if a student has a fourth tardy to a class, we're asking teachers to let the student know, I'm going to notify your parents. And this is what your parents are going to receive. More than likely, they're going to get an email. We'd like our teachers to call, um, but that doesn't always happen because it just takes longer to make phone calls. So what they're going to say, and I'm talking to the students right now, what they're going to tell your parents is for the fourth time this quarter, your student, insert your own name, has shown up late to class. This can cause disruptions to my learning environment, and I'm soliciting your support. I've spoken to your student, and now I'm asking for your support of their education for the education of all of my students. Please let me know if there's any situations or challenges that you know of or learn about in talking with your student. If there's anything I need to know, please let me know. I enjoy having your student class and want them to be successful. On the next unexcused tardy, I will need to assign your student a lunch detention. If the tardiness continues beyond that, I will need to refer your student to their administrator. OK, so just know that's the sequence of events. So on the fifth tardy, your teacher will have to assign you a lunch detention. 
students often ask, what happens if I don't do it? Well, they'll start to double up. And by the third double up, you're going to be seeing an administrator. Then we got to have that conversation with your folks about why you didn't do it. It's 30 minutes. OK, get your lunch, go to the reset room, do your time and start showing up to class on time. OK, takes no special talent to get to class on time. The sixth and more, of course, like I said, we'll make an office referral. The teacher will and we will contact parents. The administrators will contact parents. Say we're on number six now. We need your help. OK. All right. Um, students more than five minutes late to a class will re be referred to Mr. Bird, our dean of students. OK. You shouldn't be more than a minute or two late, even if you do have a challenge. OK, I can walk from one end of the building when it's crowded and I can get from the gymnasium up to the third floor. I can do it in five minutes. OK, if I stop and talk to a lot of people, probably not. If I walk and talk, I can do it. You guys prove it every going from first to third or first to second and to third every day. OK, next thing is all of this is 100 percent in effect till June 24th. This is not going away. You'll get a clean slate when we start quarter four later on. I think that's in April, maybe May. But for right now, um, you got to really pick it up. And again, I'm talking, you know, five or 10% of our students. I'm not talking to the whole student body here. Most of you guys are doing a great job and showing that it doesn't take any special talent to get to class on time. All right, so that's enough information for now. Just know we're really going to be emphasizing that for the rest of the year. So parents, please talk to your students about the importance of being on time in a school setting. It may not be so important in some areas in life, social settings, things like that. But when we're here, we're bound to a clock. Our day starts at 810 and it ends at 240. And we have a lot of things to get through. Thank you for your support. If you have any questions, please reach out.